2022 was a formidable year. He was stronger than I expected. The tourism uh, industry has been recovered faster, stronger, likely very durable. Uh, leisure is back, stronger than 2019. Pricing is to advantage. Uh, anything which is domestic, whether it is business ledger, intra-regional, less than four hours away, is stronger than 2019. The only piece missing has been the international business affair, still lagging probably by 20%. And we didn't have the benefit of China reopening, so we're probably gonna have an even better year for 2023. Well, 2022, we had a very solid ref bar, exactly 82% better than 2021, which is, again, better than 2019, which is plus 2%. Sales, almost the same number, plus 80%. It's above 4.2 billion euros, uh, which is a remarkable number for 2022, better than pre-pandemic uh, in 2019. And then you have the net profit, which is a bit more than 400 million, which is well, well above. Uh, the uh, very marginal profit we had in 2021. Then it comes to brand and growth, which is really the metric that I guess we live by, which is the numbers of hotels we're capable of not only opening, but seducing owners with the quality of our brands and distribution. And guess what? We've opened 300 hotels uh, in 2022, which is a, a big number in a difficult environment. And what pleases me the most is that we have well above 1,200 hotels to be open in the next two to three years. And this is being done over 120 countries and with a very fast expansion uh, coming in Europe where we've been slow uh, over the last few years. So good metrics on financial, good metrics on growth, very strong brands and probably the brand of choice for many owners on this planet. Well, the key priorities for 2022 onwards uh, one, it comes all about people. Uh, it really is how we're going to be transferring, which we did over the last few years, from individual intelligence to collective intelligence, how we could be regrouping together, bond together, and be smarter together. So, and I know everything starts with the people of this company, uh, and I just have a thought for all of those being today impacted by the tragedy in Syria and in Turkey. We're doing everything we can to salvage the situation, but we have a lot of people on the ground in Turkey, well above 10,000 people, uh, that we need to think of at this very moment. And we're gonna be also developing, growing, learning better. A month and a half ago, we decided to reorganize a group in two different autonomous divisions. New expertise, uh, new dedication, new focus, and reasoning, which is growth, profitability and of course servicing the owners, being helped by 280,000 people in this group, which gets me into a different subject but very much attached to it, which is sustainability. You know how focused we have been over the last few years, actually the last 20 years, on trying to really respond to environment, climate, trying to reduce carbon emission. We've been remediating and putting away all the individual plastic. We need to do more, but we need to think very easily about how could we contribute more. So it's all a question of mindset, it's a question of methodology, it's a question of vision, ambitions, and delivering. It of course includes diversity, inclusion, child protection. It's a very vast uh, thematic, but believe me, we are good at it, we are leader, we're pioneer, and we're sharing good practices with our peers. And the rest is, of course, trying to grow faster, even faster than we did over the last few years. We could and we should do it because of the 46 brands of our core. So uh, people, sustainability, growth, those are the three things I'm going to be really focused on over the next, uh, probably the next few years. Of course, I want to tell you how thankful I am on what has been delivered over the last few years. It's been hectic, it's been difficult, but we enjoyed the, the last 12 months rebound, and it's not finished. Uh, we have tailwinds. It's going to last hopefully another few years. We are at our best in terms of organization, in terms of brand, in terms of people, in terms of vision. We know what we have to accomplish. We know we can accomplish it. And I'm so glad that I guess we're doing it together. So looking forward for 2023 being better than 2022. And guess what? 2024 would be better than 2023. So we are on the run. Let's not waste it. Let's basically enjoy it. And let's battle together. I love you all. Bye-bye. A core. Powered by emotion.